right, board game fans, welcome to Battlebound Unboxing Battle Foam. Now, I just recently made a very small investment into the channel, and by small investment, what I mean is I bought myself a fairly decent chunk of Battle Foam. So we're gonna check it out right now, Battlebound style, some Battle Foam unboxing. Here we go. Now you can tell, I haven't actually opened the box yet, so this is the very first time with my Army Painter brand. He thought it was cute that it said Battlebound on the box. It did, and it is. All right. I think it's cute that he's so damn excited about all this. Oh, I am. supposed to curse him. What'd you say? Damn. Damn is fine. All right, here we go. Like Raphael. Now, he's never seen any, any battle foam except for the one that I already have here in the house. So Which is why he woke me up for this. All right, so he's like a kid on Christmas Eve. All right, first thing out of the box. Yeah, I want to see that. Oh. And by the way, I need to put out there, Battle Foam did not in any way uh, pay us or give us free product or anything like that. This is straight up just something I wanted to do because I felt like the channel could use a little bit more Battletech related content. They have a VIP club. That's kind of cool. I doubt I'm in it. Alright, first out of the box. Here we go. I don't have a VIP Alright. This guy right here, the pack 720. Uh, you got your... Pockets here for whatever you feel like you need to stick in there. Could probably put some. Yeah, it's already useful. Yeah. Probably put some Gator cards in there. Oh, totes. Uh, if I needed to. So, you know, and then these things are the Velcro. Of course, you got your. That is a lot of Velcro, man. Side pockets here. Yeah, it's just small. Well, not Velcro so much as it is, you know, you able to stick things on. This is not the big pocket. The big pocket's a zipper. There's more pockets! Oh, yeah. These would fit maybe the battle neck manual or Totes! Even like Total Warfare would fit. Now, here's the, the big part. You got the, the two side compartments here. In case you want Pencil case. Yeah, it feels like there's something in there, so there's probably stuffing or something like that. I like stuffing. Who doesn't? No! It is the uh, little shoulder strap. Shoulder strap. Yeah, you hook that onto these guys here and lock them up. All right. Now I think they put the actual foam. No built metal. In here. So. Boom. Oh, snap crackles. All right. Phone. Now you you remember my other ones were only about that big. Yeah. So you know this one and you got your one two three four five uh, spaces there for your really big guys like Marauder QC, Kodiak, King Crab. Got it a little more, a little more love. Scorpions. Yeah, Scorpion. Just need a little bit more room to breathe. And then you got these guys right here. Chicken wing room. Yeah. And that's where your standard. Let's go. Oh so, God. Three of these guys, I think. I want to touch it. No, it's only got four. Couldn't remember how many I'd actually ordered. And then you know the hole right there, you could put like dice or you could put you know, anything that you could conceivably think of. Yeah. You could just stack them up, you know, like stack your dice. Yeah. If that's what you wanted to do. Like a board D and D player. Something like that. So I now what do you think that's sure. What do you think of the, the foam quality, Taylor? It's foamy. Yeah. And, and I'm actually cool. kind of like sturdy. That's kind of cool. Good. I was afraid that I might not have ordered enough, but it appears as though I've got enough here. And I ordered some toppers too to go with this. They actually make these these cool toppers, which I'll show you here in just a second. Oh, okay. so oh. second. Now, this one is the thing that I am most uh, excited about. Travel this is case. The, the travel case for Battlebound. See, 
up until recently, I just had this uh, really small plastic case. It was about this long and this wide, and the lid would open up. And it was very rudimentary, but this guy, this is this is pro. He says rudimentary. I always thought it was pretty cool. What do I know though? It's it, the camera guy. It worked for for what I had. So to see what we got here is it doesn't open from the top. It opens from the front there. It's like a pizza case. Yeah. And these mm -hmm. are Beck pizza. Have a millennium income. Oh, I was like, that's, that's, that's a good Yep, that got me free shipping. So would you like it, you can keep it. For real? Yes. Uh, I sure as heck. A Millennium Falcon shaped piece got you free shipping. Yes. I needed to hit a certain amount of money, and I was like 92 cents under that. And so I figured if I just threw that in there. The the Millennium ship. Falcon and Slave and One. And Slave One, yeah. What the heck? Yeah, you're agreeing to that. Eh, 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 eh. And notice this one didn't come with any foam actually inside of it, but that's what you know the foam in the other one there is for. Yes. These guys are the toppers that I was just talking about. So what they do is they keep your minis from getting, you know, like the when standing in here and let's say it, the, the little bit of the top kind of comes over the, the rim there, mm -hmm. and you put something on top of it, it starts to scrape the paint off gradually right. over time. And if you, if you feel the bottom of this, it's not quite as soft yeah. as the rest of it. So you take this guy. Like this, Boop. and it fits right over, and it glides. It's a soft foam. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be so much that it, it overflows, but yeah, that's what it's for. And so you take these trays out, I like so, and you stick them right in there like that. You can see the second part. Oh yeah, that's nice. Like that. That pizza. Yeah. Special delivery. And this is called the, the Pack Foam Plus. So I mean, it doesn't really have all the bells and whistles. Uh, the other one has a zipper here. So if you want to attach a different, like you can get multiples of these and then attach it so you can carry you know, like that if you want to. But yeah. So I mean watch. Yeah. And and you can Basically, if you're trying to play like three full trinaries against three full trinaries, well, okay, you <laughs> fit it in there. Or, alternatively, what you could do is you could take one of these trays, which is plenty for your average bat, right? Stick it in there, and you put it on the topper, and then you could take like one of your rule books, like the Battle Manual, the Scenario Guide, something like that. Stick it right in there, put your dice bag in there if that's what you want to do. Uh, your box of death can go in there, and uh, there it is. Yeah, then you zip it up. So, perfect. everything in a handy dandy carry case. Perfect little travel case, which is, I mean, exactly what we need on the road for Battlebound. So, now, all in all, this set, all of this stuff that you see here in the box, because that's the end of it, wait for his reaction, uh, ran me about 300 bucks. <laughs> that's the trays, the foam trays, the actual cases, and all that jazz. And that's what that came to, and that was with free shipping. Because Do you know how much shrimp we could buy for $300? Enough to fit on the Jenny too? Yes. Enough to start our own shrimp company? Yes. We, we, we could have boiled a lot of shrimp. I mean, let's be honest. How much would this have been? At the very least, we could have gotten multiple uh, Fiesta pails. All I know is this man got all this foam. This is my favorite one. Gorgeous <laughs> <laughs> city. Battle Battlebound, Battle Down, I'm Tuck Damien with Taylor Bishop. We'll see you out of the space lane. On Battlebound. Battlebound! Yeah, my turn. Oh. Screw you. <laughs>